the occasional series on motorcycles. Today we've got something very, very special. How special? Well, those of you who know about Velocets will understand that you've just seen there the logo on the tank saying Velocet Sportsman. Now, why is it very, very special? Well, there was only 44 of them ever made. It all started out with a gentleman called Norm Burling from Burling and Simmons's, the Australian distributor of Velocet motorcycles, Parramatta Road, Auburn. Now, around about 1969, the Thruxton 500cc single had reached a price of around about $1,095. Not much in our terms Hang on. now. But no, that was not there. But what happened was you could buy a shiny new Japanese CB750 with electric start for less than that. And then, of course, in subsequent years, the uh, Jaffa came out. So, what Norm did was contacted Velocet in Birmingham and said, I want an Australianized Velocet made, and hence the name Sportsman. So, it's not a Thruxton and it's not a Venom. It's not a Clubman Venom. It's a special model, 44 at the mate. 40 came to Australia in batches, beginning at engine number 6621C, where C normally stands for coil. But in this particular example, it has a magneto on it. And that is something that was very common with Velocet. A uh, few little different things, but let's have a look. He wanted a bike to sell for a reasonable price compared to the Japanese. So it came with these lovely twin leading shoe front brakes here. It came with the unique Velocet rear suspension. Can't adjust preload, but you can adjust the angle on it. A lovely seat here for touring, and a few of them did come out with clip-ons, but this example that we're looking at now is the more standardized one without the clip-ons and without the rear sets. In fact, a number of people change them back to this configuration. Now, what was it bought out for? It was to be bought out to be a lovely riding bike. And that is exactly what it was. Uh, some people did take them to Bathurst and race them. There are stories of one of the 40 that has a megaphone exhaust on it, rather than this lovely standard Velocet fishtail here. And it had a six inch open megaphone on it. And that megaphone exhaust system is still around to this day, but not not on this particular bike. This this one is in absolutely standard condition, and we'll bring you later episodes on this bike and tell you more about the Velocet Sportsman and a startup. Okay, hit the subscribe button and tell us about your stories with Velocet.